Boom, I'm in the room. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching from. Welcome to the Old Hill Manor. And I'm your host, Lord Hill. Now, Remembrance Weekend. It has been quite an emotional weekend for, for many, including myself. But this is really starting to get up my nose. In the UK, we have an entire month for pride. A month for history of LGBTQ and all the rest of them. And now, Islamophobia Awareness Month. Not to mention Black History Month. What about if we had a White History Month? Would we be allowed to have that? I don't think so. I think we'd be called racist and all sorts. But this weekend of remembrance for our fallen war heroes, is deemed excessive and offensive. Well, if you find it excessive and offensive, I have one thing for you. You can fuck off. Just boils my blood. Anyway. Now, <laughs> this young fella, Donald J. Trump, he's, he, he works in... <laughs> Did a little bit of work in McDonald's and now he's gone to a pie <laughs> a pie shop and he's, he's gone around. Who ordered two large slices of humble pie? <laughs> you guessed it. It's these pair of clowns. Starmer and Lammy. Yeah. They need to start eating an awful lot of humble pie, don't they? <laughs> you couldn't make it up. These things keep surfacing what they've said about him in the past. And now they want to... <laughs> now they want to deal with him. Yeah, you think he's going to put the screws on him? Do you think he's going to... Yeah. Can't wait to see how it unfolds, can you? Anyway, let's... Uh, let's have a look at this. The Cenotaph. Um, yesterday... Now, is it me, but do these people know how to dress? Now, you have a look there, there's at least half a dozen plus former MPs or PMs, Prime Ministers. You've got Major, Blair, Brown, Cameron, May, Boris... Trust. They're on a hundred and fifteen thousand pounds a year pension because they served as a prime minister, and they can't, they can't dress right. They have no idea how to respect our fallen in this country. Look at them. Miserable, bloody lot. Yeah, I'm just, just, I'm beyond words. And this, singing the national anthem. Look at that arsehole. Stephen Flynn, the representative of the Scottish Nasty Party. Stood silent. What an arsehole. Even that poison dwarf Khan managed to open his mouth. Whether he's just mouthing the words, I don't know. The lack of respect that's shown is just beyond a bloody joke. And it gets worse. Absolutely gets worse. Right, get this. They've allowed this to go on. Not satisfied with bloody demonstrating on a bloody Saturday. They now demonstrating on Remembrance Sunday. Bloody free sodding Palestine lot. Racists. Fascists. Really nasty people. And they get away with it. And they get away with it. And it gets worse. Absolutely gets worse. 
Look at this. Brighton. Okay? Two minute silence. What happens? Some bloody Muslim starts wailing. Whether it's the, they're called a prayer type thing. What about if you went outside a mosque on a Friday afternoon and started playing loud music during Friday prayers? How long do you think you'd bloody last before the old bill come tumbling down on you? Uh, and uh, <laughs> Yeah. And there's no two-tier policing, no two-tier justice system. Just beggars belief. Look at this. This. This is hate. This is hate for this country. Yet we allow it. Why do we allow it? Because it's a free country. It's just, yeah, burn the British flag. That's what they're, that's what they're preaching. Burn the British flag. On Remembrance Day. It's just... This, this country has gone fucking mad. Absolutely bonkers. To allow this sort of fucking thing. This is what should happen. Get Stormer out. The sooner, the better. It's happening. It's happening. You can see it's happening. Across the country. All these... All these by-elections that we're having. They're all turning their backs on this Labour Party. And the Conservatives. Reform is on the march. Now, I have one thing to say, and I totally agree with this sentiment. If you're offended by the poppy, you shouldn't be living in this country. It's as simple as that. If, it, if the poppy offends you, then fuck off. Meanwhile, on Remembrance Sunday in London... Three people were knifed <laughs> in a market in Walford. One dying. Meanwhile, <laughs> in Sydenham, there's a shooting. What's going on with this country? What is going on? Now, oh, I'm fully behind these guys. Farmers are threatened to block every port in Britain over tax raid. I support them. I think they should. However, I think if they do, how quick do you think they'll be before they all get arrested? How quick do you think the old Bill will be down on them like a ton of bricks, dragging him off, throwing them in a pokey? Yeah, do you think they'll get away with it? Now, it's an interesting fact. If they was to stop using human effluent for fertiliser, it wouldn't take long for it to back up and they wouldn't know what to do with it. <laughs> it's a fact. That's a fact. Yeah, there's lots of ways the farmers can get get at this government and they need to do it because it's criminal in what they've done absolutely criminal and look how many farmers are taking their own lives next to the military they're the biggest people that are taking their own lives it's horrendous what's going on so on with this lot I'm back in British farming. Let's have a British farming day. Back British farming day. That's what we should do. In fact, let's have a back British farming year. Let's buy British. Let's get behind our farmers. Meanwhile, look at this. What's, this is their mentality. This is the mentality of these people that's coming into this country. 
<laughs> they're forced to keep the mouth shut. Yeah, they get here and they want to turn this country into a country where they can't get open their mouth. It just... This is their thinking. Is it time we stopped them coming? And talking about them coming, look at this, over the weekend, 572 turned up on our beaches. 572 over the weekend. That's taken it to over 32,000 illegal economic migrants that have crossed the channel this year. And they're opening up hotels to put them in again. It's absolute rubbish. Uh, it just... I don't know what to say. I, I am beside myself. It is. It's just wrong. It's just wrong. We need a government that will stand up for this country. We need to stop this bloody two-tier policing, two-tier justice system. We need... We need to get some pride back in this country. Lots of people say we should bring back national service. Well, I think we should. However, what we should do is bring it back as community national service. Have it run on the same lines as national service, but without guns. So they turn up, they have the, the six weeks square bashing and all the rest of it. And then you give them a trade. You give them a skill. And then you send them out into the community to do some community projects. To give them some pride in themselves. To give them some, some pride in the country. To give them some discipline. That's what they lack. Bloody discipline. Works in other countries. Anyway, that's that's my tuppence opening for this the eleventh of November, Remembrance Day. I'm going to do my own little ceremony of two minutes silence at eleven o'clock. Remember all my mates. So until the next one, T T F N. Ta-da for now.